Is iOS 14 worth the update? Here are the top five features added to iOS 14. Coming up in this episode of Millennial Takeover. As many of you know, Apple has been consistently iterating on the design of both the iPhone and iPad, and a large part of those changes have happened in iOS. Apple has added so many different features over the years, and it's exciting to see how far we've come. Just for a reminder, let's go back and remember what the original iPhone looked like. Do this. I just take my finger and I scroll. Let's look at what the iPad and iPhone look like today. Feature number five. One of the first things you're gonna notice in iOS 14 is that the widgets have been redesigned and they look really good. In fact, they're so much more useful than they were before and they added a much needed visual change to the experience. Apple has gone ahead and built a bunch of fresh widgets for the home screen. So they've created fresh widgets for basically all the apps you can think of, the weather app, the clock app, calendar, etc. And you can customize these. All you have to do is long press on the home screen, go to the top left corner, press plus, and then you'll be presented with a bunch of widgets that you can choose from. So for instance, I'll select the first widget, which is a smart stack, and I can embed it onto my home screen. You can make widgets in one of three different sizes, small, medium, and large. And each widget can be placed anywhere on your home screen. In addition to that, you can create widget stacks to group widgets together. Apple also created a feature called Smart Stacks. Smart Stacks are a group of widgets that Apple will smartly display to you depending on circumstances. For instance, if you're going to work in the morning at the same time, the Smart Stacks might display the Maps app for you automatically so that you could quickly see how much traffic there would be on your route to work. There are so many ways that this kind of functionality could be used and it's gonna be interesting to see how developers make use of this technology. In theory, you're gonna get a lot of productivity boost by Smart Stacks automatically showing you information at a glance that you want to know. Feature number four. If you're anything like me, you use your iPhone to watch a lot of videos. I mean, you're watching a video right now and in all likelihood, many of you are using an iPhone or an iPad to watch this video. Well, Apple added a feature called Picture in Picture. And Picture in Picture is the feature that I've been waiting for for years. It gives you the ability to start watching a video and then start doing something else. Many of us are multitasking as we go through our day and sometimes you don't want to interrupt your watching flow and when you have to go address an email or respond to a message, sometimes those videos will just stop playing or you can't watch it while you're doing those other things. Picture in Picture enables you to pop out of the experience of that video player and continue doing things. So you can really enhance your multitasking by continuing to write an email or respond to a message and have your movie play in the background. You can move the movie anywhere on the screen and you can resize the video to be larger or smaller to your liking. This is a pretty cool feature and I've been waiting for this for a long time. This functionality I don't believe works with YouTube at this exact moment, however it does work with apps like Twitch and it also works with functionality like FaceTime. So as we go, more developers are gonna add this functionality into their apps and you're gonna be able to do this all over the place. But for now, it only works for certain applications, but I'm so stoked that this is here. So thank you, Apple, for adding this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. If you like the video you're watching, please help support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. In addition to that, I'm gonna be giving out a $20 Amazon gift card one week from the date that this video drops to a person who has liked, subscribed, and commented on this video. So please do enter. And now to feature number three. Apple has added a lot of improvements to the Messages app. For instance, now you can pin a conversation to the top of your Messages app. You can actually pin, I think, up to nine conversations. This basically allows you to quickly access the conversations that you're having most frequently. 
You can also now direct mention somebody in a message. For instance, if you are typing a message and then you type somebody's name, tap their name and then tap the icon, it will change that name into a mention. And that mention will basically call out that person in your message so that it really grabs their attention. Also, Apple finally added the ability to reply to a specific message. So that's pretty cool, but like, why did it take you so long to add that? You can also customize a group photo. So they've definitely gone out of their way to help make group chatting a better experience in the Messages app, but they've also added a bunch of fun new ways to play and customize your Memoji. So for those of you who are big Memoji users, you'll be stoked. There's like new hats and stuff, so have at it. <laughs> So far on the top five list, there's been redesigned iOS widgets, picture-in-picture -picture multitasking, and some nice additions to the messaging app. And now on to number two. Apple has added a new feature called App Clips. Now, it's not really obvious what App Clips is from the name, and I don't think many people really understand what it is. So let me just explain what it is. App Clips is a way for you to basically use an app without having to download the app. For instance, there's a lot of apps that you kind of rarely ever have to use, but you do want to use it sometimes, but it kind of just clutters your phone to have that app downloaded. Well, App Clips allows you to basically experience an app without downloading it. For example, if you go to the Maps app and let's say you wanted to eat something at Panera, well, you can go search for your local Panera Bread and in the Maps app, it'll have a place where you can place an order at Panera. Great, if you tap that, it actually will launch the Panera app, but it's like a small version of the Panera app without installing anything. And now you can just place your order. And Apple kind of takes care of the payments and all that, assuming you've configured all of that in iOS already. It kind of just handles that cleanly for you. So this is a pretty cool feature now I don't have to have like a Chipotle app, a Chick-fil-A app, a Panera app, for instance, I can just use the app clip. There are so many places in iOS where app clips are gonna be used. You can send them in messages. They're gonna be used within apps. You can launch into an app clip experience from a website. App clips are a very interesting development in iOS and I can't wait to see how it gets used. And frankly, I can't wait to delete a lot of apps that I so rarely use. And the last feature I wanna talk about in the top five features added to iOS 14 is something called the App Library. Apple seems to have really focused on improving the UI of iOS 14 and reducing the clutter with the amount of apps and way that we lay out our applications and access them across the entire experience. So now, the last page of the home screen is something called the App Library. And if you go to it, you will see that Apple has gone ahead and organized all of our applications on our iPhone into different categories. So the App Library is a really clean and elegant way to access different apps on our iPhone. For instance, if you're looking for a photography app, well, they're all categorized into one bucket. Apple's just making it really easy and convenient for us to find applications on our phone. This is a much needed welcome because I don't know about you guys, but I've been getting so lost in applications in different folders all over the place. So thank you Apple for this feature. And now the bonus six feature of iOS 14 that I'm gonna give you guys today. That's right, I'm gonna give you guys one extra feature. They added some pretty interesting abilities to the accessibilities portion of iOS. And one of those features is the ability to launch different actions by tapping on the back of your phone. This is a feature known as back tap. You can access it by going to your settings, clicking on accessibility, then touch, back tap, and on. And you can set a two tap and a three tap to trigger different actions. So for instance, just one possible setup of this, when tapping your phone three times, you could take a screenshot. And when tapping it twice, you could show all your screenshots. And I don't know about you guys, but the whole like 
squeezing together the sides of the iPhone to take a screenshot is just, yeah, let's just say I don't really like it. I think I've taken about 2 million screenshots on accident, so um, I don't know why they designed it like that. I don't really like that. Uh, but with Backtap, you can quickly take a screenshot and quickly access the screenshot just using a couple taps on the back of your phone. So I think that's pretty cool and I think that's a welcomed feature. Anyway, iOS 14 is out now and I highly recommend that you guys go download it so that you can improve your iOS experience. So what do you guys think of iOS 14? I'll see you guys in the comments.